All right. First and foremost, I'm going to say all praises be to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukah, Kodash. And then I'm going to say double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and shalom to the sincere elect teaching the truth and faith and sincerity. Quick topic I'm going to speak on is actually doing a response to a couple of, 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 of comments that got posted on my last video. And I was talking about uh, reparations for slaves, you know, so-called revelations. Sorry, uh, reparations for slavery is slavery. And the kind of, you know, point and context I was really speaking on is based on, um, is based on, uh, you know, how all these heathen, especially these fucking Edomites, which, you know, the Edomites, according to scriptures, are these so-called people that call themselves white, that go back to the seed of Esau, you know, basically paying for their, their judgment and, and slavery, you know, um, paying, paying for their, uh, you know, to the twelve tribes of Israel, which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and their seed scattered. Now, of course, Esau, as usual, every time you call him out, he comes out with excuses and like, like, you know, what I mean, it wasn't me, and so on and so forth. So anyway, because I did that video, this either my comment board is obviously you know you know what I mean offended but mate I'm gonna just say it mate if you are an Edomite and you go back to the seed of Esau you have no hope if you are an Edomite and your seed goes back to the seed of Esau you have no hope don't matter if you got guns lasers fucking heat seeking drones you have no hope and you're not gonna able you are not gonna be able to stop the Lord when he comes back so just you know sit, sit, sit down somewhere you know get get uh, drunk smoke crack max out your credit card you know, enjoy these last days, Esau, because you're going down. Esau and all these other nations, but especially, especially Esau, the modern day so-called white man, right? That's all praised and glorified in this world. The, those of them that their seed goes back to the seed of Esau, they are the biblical Edomites. Now, I have to be, you know, clear as well in saying this not every white person is necessarily right not not every so-called white person is necessarily an Edomite right that that's something I, like I do have to say we here at Great Millstone also teach that the 12 tribes of Israel have been scattered amongst all people's tongues and nations so you do have people who on the outside I appear white, but it's you know so-called white, but but they seed seed on their father's side throughout various times, right? You know, in past time, goes back to the seed of the twelve tribes of Israel, which would make you an Israelite. And if your forefather, like is an Israelite, goes back to seed like an Israel, then that makes you an Israelite too. So anyway. Uh, I'm gonna read his uh, comments. Right, it says so. Basically, um, obviously, like like in the video I was doing before, I was speaking about them them pain, right? And it says your intended victims are prepared this time. And then he says, uh, uh, let me go to the next comment. For real. It says, for real reparations, they 
identify an actual victim of the offence in question. They specify the uh, abuses and damages. They assign a dollar amount for their compensation. They pay the victim. If the victim is deceased, they identify the closest living legal heir and pay them. What is the name of the victim that you're trying to collect the unpaid reparations for? And then the last um, comment he said is claiming victimhood for what happened to other people is disgraceful. Ascribing guilt Ascribing guilt to, the, to, to people who had nothing to do with the offence is is atrocious, which you know what, yeah, now I'm going to explain everything which you said, we just, we just, you know, that just ties right into the scriptures, man. Right, this is right. This is Ecclesiasticus, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter. Um, the book of e e Ecclesiasticus, chapter forty and fifteen. The uh, yeah, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter forty-one and seven. The ch children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. Let me read it again. The Children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake, and that's exactly what is taking place, man. Right? You. Anytime we bring up slavery and 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 you know what I mean everything that you, you really must. You know what I mean, and and other nations have done to the, to the people of Israel. The first thing you people always say was, "Well, it wasn't me." You know what I mean? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was my forefather and blah blah blah. Not knowing that you are your forefather, and that reincarnation is in the Bible. So you have to pay for the sins of your fathers because you are your fathers coming back through the process of reincarnation and in terms of everything else in which you said right which you said here oh shit and in terms of everything which you were saying here it says for real reparations they identify an actual victim of the offence in question. They specify the abuses and 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 and, and damages. They assign a dollar amount for their compensation. They pay the, the victim. If the victim is deceased, they identify the closest living legal heir and pay them. What is the name of, of the victim that, that you were trying to to, to um, uh, collect the unpaid re re reparations for. Number one, fuck your money. We don't care about your your, your money. We, 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 which, even, which even shows you that you, you, you don't even understand the video that I did. The real re reparations is when you, you Edomites and all you other nations, especially you Edomites, are in slavery of the nation of Israel, man. Which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? So, so again, even from the point that, uh, even the point that you, you're saying, I uh, know, uh, unpaid, uh, unpaid amount, and paying, paid, fuck your money. You 
you gonna be you gonna be the money being in slavery, man. All right, and and on the points you you, 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 you was making, all right, it says um, uh, they identify an actual victim of the offense in question. They specify the the um, abuses and and and, and 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 damages. Well, the the, the victim, right, in question is the whole nation of uh, the whole nation of Israel, right? That 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 is the victim in a question, right? The actual victim in question. Is the whole, 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 whole nation of Israel, and the 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 the, the <laughs> crimes done is what all you other heathen have done unto the twelve tribes, tribes of Israel in various times and various time periods upon the earth. All right, and the Lord has an account of everything done because <laughs> of His angels. You know, this is a uh, Ecclesiasticus um, twelve and fourteen. For the Most High shall bring every work into um, judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So so, 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 the um, Lord brings everything into judgment, man. Every work into judgment, whether, whether, where, whether it be good or, or whether, whether, like it be evil, man. And the the Lord, right, has his um eyes out there. Which are his angels, which observe every single thing, and they observed all of the, the crimes of Esau and Edom, and all these other nations that have been done unto the people of the Most High in various time periods. So even the point that, that he was making was, you know, what what crimes are done, right? Uh, first of all, the um, crimes that you know and things you've done unto the people of the Most High is actually recorded in the Bible. It's actually mentioned in the Bible, and and, and, and things that are not necessarily re recorded in the Bible, right? They have been recorded by the Lord and His angels, right? This is Proverbs. 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. So, so, so when we talk about the Lord's eyes, the Lord's eyes are his angels. So when when that that young when when uh, that young Jake boy Right or or Jake, girl got 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 raped and tortured in 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 slavery, and it was never officially accounted for or like recorded on paper. Did the Lord and His angels was there? Once once when uh that um onboard unborn Native American child was cut out of his mother's womb and, and, and had his head uh, stamped on, right? Even if that person's name and the, those exact people that did such things, it wasn't recorded by actual name sometimes, just because it wasn't officially recorded on, you know, so-called paper, it doesn't mean that the Lord's angels Right, didn't see it. So all these kind of things will be 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 
you have been accounted for. In fact, if you go to the book of Nahum, right? Book of Nahum chapter 1 and 3, the scripture says this, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. And the seed of the wicked, according to the Bible, is the seed of Esau, which is so-called white people. Now go back to the seed of Esau. So, so let me read it again. It says, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. So if you are the seed of the wicked, right? If you are of, of the stock and tribe and people of the nation of, of, of Esau, the Lord is not going to acquit you. You are not going to be able to escape for all your crimes that you've been doing in this, in this life and in your past life to the nation of Israel, to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And let me read what the scripture has to say. This is um, Isaiah chapter 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. That's so, so, so that says exactly that. The, the Bible says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the place of the world with, with, uh, cities, with their cities. So that's, so, that's, so, that's, so that's what the Bible says, man. Right? The, 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 the main nation that the Lord hates, right, are all you Edomites, all you people that go back to the seed of Esau. If you go back to the seed of Esau, you are people especially hated by the Heavenly Father, by the Most High, right? This is the book of, of Romans 9 and 13, but I'm gonna come back to, to, um, to, 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 to Isaiah. But I have, to, I have to make you especially know, if you go back to the seed of Esau, again, I'm saying seed, because not, not every person that's so-called white, your peers white, is necessarily an Edomite. But I have to make this clear, that the Lord hates you. This is uh, Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have, have, have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So if you are an Edomite, the Lord hates you, man. And you're going down. And it's only a matter of time. And you ain't gonna be able to stop shit. Because remember, the first comment this guy says, your your intended victims are prepared this time. <laughs> first of all, we, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna do anything unto you. When the Lord comes back, right, with his heavenly, heavenly angels, with his UFOs, when the Lord comes back, right, when he comes back with his heavenly angels and, and, and UFOs, he's going to take Esau and these other nations down, right? And, and then he's going to establish his kingdom, kingdom upon earth. And that's when the Lord is going to give us the power to, you know, to, 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 uh, uh, be, to, 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 to actually do, do his, uh, judgment, to, to, to do the judgment written, right? But that's all going to happen when the Lord comes back. So let's go back to Isaiah 14 and 21 and give more context. So, Isaiah 14 and 21, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the place of the world with cities. That's what the Bible straight up says, man. Now, a person might bring up um, Ezekiel chapter 18, right? And the 20th verse, I believe, where it says the son isn't going to pay for the sins of the father 
and that the father is not going to pay for the sins of the, the, the son. Now a person might bring that out and feel like this scripture contradicts Isaiah 14. But what you have to understand is that there's something in the Bible called reincarnation. And reincarnation, right, is in the Bible. So you are your forefathers coming back. All right, this is uh, Ezekiel 18 and the 20th verse. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. So that's what the Bible says. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not pay, pay, uh, bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the uh, father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Now again, a person might read that and say, oh, that, that uh, um, um, contradicts Isaiah 14 and 21. And in fact, the scripture doesn't con contradict. The scripture says the Lord is not the author of confusion. Now, what gives you understand is that, you know, you are your forefathers coming back, right? And that there's a process of reincarnation. And people typically come back in the third and fourth generation. But obviously, the Lord can obviously put, put, put the spirit upon a, a person to, you know, die and come straight back. But the point is, reincarnation is in the Bible. This is um, Exodus 25. Thou, sh thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, right? Nor serve them, for I, the Lord, am a... A jealous power visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me so, so the, 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 the Bible says that the Lord will visit his iniquity man was, uh, yeah of a person to the third and fourth generation man you see so that's the that's, that's, that's straight up what the Bible is saying. The, the, the Bible is saying here that, you know, when it comes to, you know, judgment, you know what I mean, of iniquity, right? In the third and fourth generation, you know, uh, you know, after the person's death through the process of, 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 of reincarnation, the yeah, Lord will, will bring his judgment, you know, because uh, like a person can think, that you know, like a, you know, I mean, a person can do much evil and wickedness in his life, and think, you know, let's say a person, like, like, I'll give you like an example. Say, say you have a person that's owned a slave plantation. He uh, lived to ninety, and slaughtered people, and mangled people, and tortured people, and did all, all, all manner of wickedness and evil, right? They might live a long life, like a long, comfortable life where everything is good. And then he might die and think, yes, I did all my evil and I, and I didn't get, you know, any judgment for it and such. Not knowing that when he comes back in the process of reincarnation, right, he's about to pay for... for for his sins, right? Now, so that person might be born, you know, uh, like blind or just born mangled with a like terrible, you know, you know, kind of health. But, but in this life now, because we are in the a time period, period of the Lord coming back, there are some people who are, who, who, who are here now like an alive now that are going to go into direct slavery 
when the Lord comes back and and build right up the kingdom of heaven through slavery. The, 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 that's what scripture says that the, the uh, sons of strangers with which of these nations shall build thy walls, man. So even you on this comment board talking now, if 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 you're an Edomite and if if if, 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 if you're up in America, you are gonna die when um, the the uh, land of America is destroyed by thermal nuclear missiles, and when the Lord comes with his UFOs in the midst of World War Three. And then you are going to be re reincarnated as a baby into slavery into the kingdom of heaven. Now, if you're in Europe and other parts of of, of, the, of this earth, if if you are able to escape death from the new in, uh, from from just various um, things that will happen up in Europe during during during, during the, the, the midst of all the kind of evils that are about to happen if you're somehow left unscathed or you're like in a part of of town or country that isn't hit by uh you know missiles and so there's such a so forth if, if if you're somehow able to like escape what's about about to, to come and, and and you're in europe or in other parts of, of this earth right <laughs> trying to hide or whatever don't worry because that means you're just going to be left alive to go directly into slavery, man. So, so you, there, there, there's no escaping. Because again, there's something called reincarnation in the Bible, man. Something called reincarnation. This is 2nd Ezra 14 and 35. For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. So, so the Bible says it. For after death shall a judgment come when we shall live again. And then the and then the names of the righteous shall be manifest and then the works of the ungodly shall be declared. So again, right? After death shall a judgment come because guess what? The scripture speaks about the place of judgment. The, the place of judgment is upon this earth all right so so a person dies goes back to the father and through the process of her reincarnation gets sent back upon the earth to serve as judgment that's why in scriptures like john 9 the lord you know was questioned as to why that guy was was born blind and the lord explained to him that this man here you know basically he hasn't hasn't the, the, the done any evil, but that he was born blind to show the Lord's power. Now, now the purpose of me bringing up that point was this: that they understood back then that a person could be born blind for sins he he had done in his past life. That's why, even when the man was born blind, his the Lord's the, the disciples even asked him, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents? Because they had an understanding of reincarnation and they understood understood that a person could be born blind for past wickedness. Even though this man in, in, in John 9 wasn't necessarily born blind because he, he, was, he was doing anything wicked. He, he was born blind because the Lord wanted to show his power. But the point is that a person could be born blind for, for, for past wickedness. So tying it into the point of of, of past lives and reincarnation, you can be held and will be held accountable for any wickedness that you have done in your life or even in your past life. So that now you've got certain Edomites and people will be like, well, well it wasn't me that put you in slavery. Oh yes, it was. Because reincarnation is in the Bible. This is a Revelation 13, 9 to 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now a person who's who's slow will be like, well, well, I didn't lead you into captivity. 
Yes, you did. Through the process of reincarnation, because you are your forefathers, man. So he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So because you <laughs> led us into captivity, you're going to go into captivity. And, and you know what? Furthermore, right? This scripture here can't take place without without um, reincarnation. Because a 25 year old, basically a 25 year old, either might now, can say, well, I'm 25, man. I had nothing to do. I, I, I have not, I had nothing to do with slavery, so I'm paying. You know, I'm paying. I'm not gonna pay for for anything. Not knowing that that this reincarnation exists. So you 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 you, you, you definitely have to pay because your reincarnation exists. He is the faith and the patience of the saints. You see. Right, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiastes 1, right? And, uh, and uh, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that had been is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So, 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 that, so that include people. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new. It had been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that shall come, shall come with those that shall come after. So there's no remembrance of former things, man. So the reason why you don't recall your past lives is because the Lord is seal that from your your understanding man there's no remembrance of, of, of former things a primary a prime example of that is john the baptist the lord said that john is elijah in the reincarnation he actually said this is elijah which was forth to come but when john the baptist was asked are you elijah he said no why did he say no because there is no remembrance of former things you know what i mean because he he, he wasn't given the, the understanding to re 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 remember his past life but the lord could have easily opened up <laughs> his mind to actually see his past life and memories, man. You know? And even upon Earth, man, there's examples of, of, of kids and, and children, right? That, you know, was actually around World War One and, and, and such and such past wars that actually died. Right? And now are uh, born as little kids of you know eight and seven that can actually tell their 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 um their life story about in their you know it, it like uh, like about how they actually died and stuff like that it's, it's it's crazy man you know the lord can actually do certain things but you know like on a large scale that really doesn't happen like that that that, that actually doesn't always take place but the point is i've actually seen the videos online of like people that can actually give a clear account of certain things that ha that, 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 that happened in their past lives, man. So just think when, when the kingdom of heaven is finally come, comes upon earth and is, is like established and we've got these other nations of slavery, man, the Lord might even give us the uh, power to so actually show Esau or even in the heathen uh, like a video of his past life and doing certain things unto Jacob, man. It, it's coming, man. <laughs> so hey, Esau, just sit tight and keep, 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 keep doing what you're doing because whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not, you, you, you are going down. And uh, going back onto this guy's uh, point, he, he, he was like, "Your, your intended victims are prepared." 
at this time. You ain't gonna be able to do shit. Because the Lord is gonna give his people power starting off with what is elect. Alright? We're gonna have the power to, you know, fly. Right? To you know you know to to you know shoot beams of of, of lasers out of our eyes and much more man Jeremiah 15 uh, 51 and, uh, and, and and the 20th verse that are my battle acts and weapons of war and for with thee will I break in pieces the nations and with thee will I destroy kingdoms and, and, and guess what when the, when the Lord comes back with Esau oh so no sorry no Esau that's the same. When the Lord comes back with the angels, hey, the scripture says there's a slip of the tongue, not, not from the heart. When the Lord comes back, you know, you're with his angels, right? The, the scripture says the world armies that's left that will try and fight him are going to be beaten down to power, man. Uh, beaten down to, to powder, man. You know? And all, all your Edomites and your leads and such throughout earth in his bunker tr 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 trying to hide <laughs> all you're going to be is a, like a, a sitting duck because if you're like in a bunker outside America you, 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 you ain't going to be able to actually hide if you're in a bunker like in, a, like in America that's just going to turn into a big a grave because when when America is, is, is hit during World War Three by thermonuclear missiles, so there's nothing that you can do. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing in which you can do, man. There's so many precepts, you know. But why are you gonna be given that like ability to actually fly and have spiritual power? Starting off with those that are his elect, man. And as the scripture says. That are my my my, my battle acts and weapons of war. But that's why the scripture says, wait ye upon me till I because we 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 don't need guns. We, we don't need knives. We just need the spirit of the, the, the Lord. And that's what's gonna happen when the Lord comes right to invade earth on his fathership to establish judgment upon the earth, man. And it's only a matter of time. So let's just see if I've c c covered every point in this video. Uh, your intended pictures are prepared this time. <laughs> okay, mate. Uh, for rural reparations, yeah, it says claiming victimhood for what happened to other people is, is, is disgraceful. Ascribing guilt to the people who had nothing to do with it is offense, it is atrocious. And again, it shows you, you that. It shows you that you have no understanding because if you understood the Bible, you'd understand that reincarnation is mentioned in it and you will pay for the sins of your forefathers. But hey, that and say all praises be to you, Yahabash, 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 Kodash, double honor to the apostles, and the great most of um, Next time I'm going to say Shalom. I'm trying to think of other last scripture to kind of end it. Oh, yeah. I was actually gonna get get the scripture that came back to me to, to memory. Re 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 Revelation two and twenty five. All right. Let me get Re 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 Revelation two and twenty five. It says, "But that which you have already hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end to him will i give power over nations over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and as the vessels of a pot shall, shall they bro be broken to, to to shivers even as i received of my father so the, 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 the lord is actually going to give us the power to to to, to, to break your nations down man. but that's all going to happen when the, the lord comes back and in terms of him saying you your intended victims are, are prepared prepared, uh, prepared, prepared this time listen bro this is the lord's purpose which he, he's gonna put the spirit upon us to do when he comes back 
we ain't gonna take anything in, 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 into our own hands. In fact, we ain't even gonna do anything of our own power or will. That's all gonna come when the, the, the Lord gives us the power, all right, to inflict these things when he comes back, right? With his fatherships in the midst of, 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 of World War Three, man. And you, you, you Edomites are not going to be able, you Edomites and all these other nations are not going to be able to stop the, the, the Lord when he comes back. This is 2nd Ezra 13 and 3, right? And it says, uh, and I beheld and know that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And that's talking about when, when the, the, the Lord comes back with his father, with the, the fathership and, and, and innumerable hosts of angels in things that people refer to as UFOs, which are the chariots of Israel. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. And, you know, like we see in movies like War of the Worlds and Independence Day, whenever UFO comes, man, like the big fathership comes, man, everyone scatters. And that's what actually what's going to happen. Really, the, those films get those ideas from the Bible because that's what's actually going to happen. So it says, all things tremble that were seen, seen under him. Yeah, straight up, man. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faded when it faded the, the, the fire, because yeah, that's what the Lord is going to be shooting his lasers, man. All right, and it says, and after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. So, so, so this is going to be Esau and, 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 and the world armies that's left. They were gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the, the, the man that came out of the sea. And the sea in this verse pertains to the waters. Because if you go into the, the word uh, Hebrew for he heaven, right? You know, you know, as in, you know, the sky, right? It pertains to the waters, man. Shemayim. Right, and it says, but, but I beheld him, Lord, he had graved himself up a great mountain and flew up upon it, that big father ship. But I, 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 I would have seen the regional place where, 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 where out the hill was graven, and I could not, yeah, because it was so big, he struggled to see where it started and finished. And after, after this, I beheld him, Lord, all day were gathered, all they which were gathered to subdue him were so afraid and yet does fight. Because all these world armies and these fighter jets and, and such and these command centers and stuff, right? They're actually gonna be, be, be scared, you know? Like, you know, like how you got the International Space Station and these other space missions where they observe space and, and stuff. There's actual information that, that has come out of that that they've seen UFOs right they've seen UFOs and things that are bigger than the planet they've seen UFOs and things that are bigger than the planet so just know that Esau's through and he's afraid and lo as he saw the violence of the monster that came he neither lifted up his hand no, no, no held a sword nor any instrument of war but only i saw he went he said out of his mouth i had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast past and tenders yeah again the, 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 the lazy people from his chariots right from his ufos and all they were mixed to, to, to together the blast of fire the flaming breath and the great tempers and fell with violence upon a multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be seen but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid so 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 guess what man all these you know these uh fighter jets and these world armies and stuff that's left 
that's going to try to fight against our Lord, they're going to lose, man. You know? You know, and it says, and afterward, I, this, uh, I saw I, there's the same man come down from, from the mountain and call unto him another peaceable a multitude, a peaceable multitude of those that are the elect. And there came much people unto him, whereof some were glad, some were sorry, and some of them were bound. And other some were brought, uh, and other some were brought of them that were, were, were offered. Then I was sick through the great fear, and I went and said, So guess what? What does it say? So some of them were, were bound. Right? Because, guess what? The first crop of slaves are, are, are actually going to be these elites that are, are going to be hiding in various parts of the earth in their bunkers. This is Psalms 149 and 7 and 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and the two edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with act fetters. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. And the saints of the twelve tribes of Israel. Right. And it's going to start for those who are the left. So, so Esau, keep 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 doing your thing, keep talking shit, because all, all that's going to happen is that it's only a matter of time before you go down, right? And your world is falling before your eyes. So with that, we say praises be unto you. Yeah, yeah. How about you? 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 How